Oh, snap. There's hot beer. Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. Check out all our new stuff. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Satva. If you go to Satva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash Y-M-H, you'll get a $225 credit towards any purchase you make at Satva. They have everything. They have luxury, firm, hotel-like mattresses. Like you get find at a five-star hotel. You can be sleeping on that every night. You can get a memory foam mattress from Loom and Leaf. You can get the Solaire that we just got that goes up and down, has zero gravity mode, or makes you feel like you're floating in space. It's amazing. We're huge fans. We've tried almost every product, and we continue to support them because we love what they do. They make quality, high-quality products, environmentally friendly, incredible customer support. You get great, great value. You pass on the savings that they have from not having brick-and-mortar salespeople, paying commissions. They don't have any of that, so it's direct to you. Incredible service. Go to Satva, S A A T V A dot com slash Y M H and go shopping for a mattress that'll get you sleeping right. I love Squarespace. I have used Squarespace to build four websites because it is just that good and it's just that easy. Um, I've used other platforms before and they're really, really difficult because, like, you'll Go to your website one day and it'll be down because, oh, you didn't install a new plugin. What's a plugin? You don't have to worry about that with Squarespace. Also, the templates are clean. You ever go to somebody's website and you can't find anything? It's all jumbled. It doesn't make sense. Not at Squarespace. They have everything you'll need. They, you can have a, a store uh, that you can sell things on. You can promote your physical, your online business. Announce an upcoming event. Maybe you have a wedding coming up. Maybe you just had a baby born. You want to share pictures. Do it with Squarespace. Get that cool idea on a new website, right? Do it. Now is the time. So what you're going to do is go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace. I absolutely love when this happens. I've been getting tagged in a bunch of posts by people because they went ahead and got their shady rays. It is not a joke. They are, this is an independent sunglass company. Everybody knows that the, people pay a fortune for like designer sunglasses and you don't really know why. And then a company like shady rays comes along and they're like, Oh, we have all the styles, everything cool, you know, different colors, different uh, materials, different looks. Um, and, and they give you it for a, a fraction of the price with the craziest warranty of any product I've ever heard ever. They replace anything. Lost, broken, stolen, any reason, doesn't matter. You drop it, who cares? They just replace it. I've never even heard of a warranty like that, but they do it. Not only that, but they also offer 10 meals to fight hunger in America with every order. I mean, these guys have fed millions of people. Do the right thing, man. Get some Shady Rays. They're incredible. Exclusively for our listeners, they gave us the best deal they have to offer. Use the code HOUSE for 50% off. Two or more pair at ShadyRays.com. Buy one, get one free. You get two pairs of shades for $48. Redeem only at ShadyRays.com where you find all their newest and best shades. Use our code HOUSE. I don't understand why everyone's a fucking stupid idiot. What's up there, <laughs> chomos and chomets? Chomets, thank you for that. <laughs> I needed that. Women are fucking stupid. It's great to be here with you. We're How excited you? for a nice release from all the chaos. Um, there is so much to talk about. Women are stupid. <laughs> and <laughs> do, do you consider that a microaggression? Oh, I consider I mean, that you're a... sitting here and your co-host is just shitting on your whole gender. It's a major aggression. I wouldn't even say a micro. It's a big one. Uh, yeah, I take offense to a lot of stuff. Yeah. I okay. Get it. I get it. Okay. With my ass, man. There's that. That's yeah. offensive yep. to me as a woman. There's so much to <laughs> so much to get into. Thank God this is a safe space. This is a safe space. The world is upside down, but we are right here for you inside your jeans and in your butthole. 
And now <laughs> in your butt. we have such an exciting episode planned. Some of the best uh, clips. And I'm most excited to share with you this opening clip because it's indicative of something that I didn't think would ever happen, but I'm so happy that it's oh, here. Oh, okay. Let's just get it. You ready to start the show? I'm you ready. You get into it right away? I'm ready. I let's, need it. Let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And follow me at only, and follow me only at fans only. Robert Chip by Paul Champagne, man. Yeah, follow me. Follow me only at, follow, and follow me only at fans, <laughs> at fans at Robert, Ch Robert Champagne, man. Yeah, look, man, yeah, time just come on, oh, man. <laughs> This shit is big time! Who is Randy? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. All right. That was, hold on, I need to take it in. So you forget, I haven't seen this yet. So it's, it's new to me. It's a lot. And first of all, how did he figure out the fans only stuff? I don't know. When he barely knows how to upload a YouTube video with a title. I don't I understand. I would say he barely got through this, but... <laughs> Somebody must have helped him, right? Somebody had to have talked him into this, or you know, I'm seeing this background with the Paul Champagne. I don't think he made that graphic. Of no course way. not. I think I think he's I think he found some sort of blue, ba maybe like a jizz band type deal uh -huh. to help him on the back in the background because I mean this is some pretty high tech stuff he's for doing. sure. And look how well, well lit he is. Yeah, he's never well say. lit. Who who lit him? This is upsetting. And he's glistening. Like yeah. all of these, all of these settings are just at a hundred percent. Hold on, too. Didn't he used to have a hairy chest and belly? Am no. I dreaming? No, no. He didn't. No. Okay, and he's got a brand new chain around his neck. Very nice chain. Very nice and dog chain around his neck. His mustache is. And lessened. if you think no? we're gonna use this platform <laughs> to promote <laughs> Robert Paul Champagne's new OnlyFans account, you are right. We're gonna do. <laughs> A deep dive, and we hope that you will be oh, a new subscriber. Shit. This is so exciting, Robert. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. You are capitalizing on your good name. Uh, it's really, really uh, a, 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 a noble yeah. venture that you have signed up for. Well, and it makes all kinds of sense. There's so many chicks I doing mean, this, you know, hotties. I they're <laughs> out there, and they're doing like, ooh, join my OnlyFans, and you're supposed to like, Watch them be silly or take a bath or like finger themselves or something. Is that what they do? Yeah, sometimes some of them like shoot porn on there. You know, they give you the full spectrum. But it's so many chicks. What about the guys? What about dudes? You what know about what I mean? the dudes? Yeah, the dudes deserve uh, a place to to do that Wait, I, I'm as sorry, well. I, I'm still taken aback because I don't think I've ever seen him in such good lighting, other than when Doctor yeah, Drew went to very go rare. see him. And he's in good shape. Somebody he looks is great. Here, let's look at the announcement. So basically, this is his announcement video <laughs> that he is doing an OnlyFans. Okay. Okay. So this is the announcement. Okay. Video. Hi, welcome to Lucifer Blair. I'm your hot host, Robert Paul Champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Tom and Josh. Yeah. Hey Tom. Yes. Hey, Josh. Yes. Yeah. Come on, come on over. Try it out, baby. Smoke and stroke. Yeah, bring your friends. Let's get wild. Let's be some wild male motherfuckers. Excuse me, man. Black, Latino, all motherfuckers out there. Wow. And follow me at only. And follow me only at fans only. Robert Chip by Paul Champagne, man. Yeah, follow me. Follow me only at. <laughs> follow, and follow me only at fans. <laughs> at fans at Robert Chip Robert Champagne, man. Yeah, look, man. Yeah, time just come on, oh man. <laughs> Fuck well, who, man? The fucking goddamn motherfuckers, man. Gonna get laid by some hot, black, 
fucking nigga fighting that big black Oh, monster. dear. Oh, okay, dear. trying to heal. Oh. Let's go to the next one. Let's guys. Let's take a walk. <clears throat> yep. Let's take a walk. Ugh. <laughs> that looks nice. Okay. This is part of the video. A lot of plants. Wait, hold on. I I'm sorry. Let me back this, up a this minute. This is my favorite part of it. Is that he left all this dead air in his intro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mean it's not tight, edited? <laughs> Here's just me walking through a so hallway. So weird. It's not like him. But hold on, please. What? What? I'm trying he to play the video. Tom and Josh, like he's calling you and Potter yes. out. This is amazing, and he's yes. doing it in his promo video. Yeah, it's exciting. It's and, and he's actively jerking off. I had, yeah. that's, that's just cropped out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. His, his dick is out in every single clip you're going to see. <laughs> and I, if you don't see his dick, it's because we did that on our end. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's too bad because I've seen his too, and I, I think it's lovely, and I like to see him. I don't mind. I like it. I, th I like knowing he's giving himself some pleasure. All right. Which is fucking hall. There it is. Man, it's fucking hula, man. Man, yeah. So we say, Tom, Josh, man, man. Your mom's house dudes out there who want to fuck you, man. Or you guys out there, hot motherfuckers. Possession of blue collar street trash. Motherfuckers want to <laughs> use this fucking goddamn cocksucking motherfucking faggot, man. I got, wait. Can we just talk about the evolution of how amazing this all is? Yeah, so that's, yeah. It starts with a video of a strange man, a stranger in a dark room with a bow on his head, putting a call out there to this, where later he calls us by name. He invites our listeners to come and F him. It's miraculous. And this, uh, it's this awesome. access to your behind the scenes life is unbelievable. And I'll tell you something, you just got a new subscriber. Because I'm signing up <laughs> for OnlyFans.com slash Robert Champagne. Go to OnlyFans.com slash Robert Champagne. C H A M P A G N E. Uh, there's I'm more. Signing up. I'm there's signing more. Up. I know what that is. Woof. Woof. Oh. Woof. Dig up my nick. Yeah, twist my titties, man. Oh. He's woof. got his nipples woof. clamped. Woof. Woof. Barking. Fucking shit on me, man. Shit on me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like that a lot. I'm powerful dick, man. <laughs> Suck it, motherfucker. Suck it. Yeah. Look at it, man. Wow. Wow. I'm coming, man. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, oh, motherfuckers, man. Oh. So that is such a dope intro video. Yeah. Like that's how you announce that yeah. you have a new channel. That's what's up. Yeah. I think comedians need to pay attention to their promo videos because that right there, that's called closing the deal. That's yeah. how you sell something. That's yeah. how you sell something. Yeah. You go, you want to see some sexy shit? And then you do yeah. that. Well, here's what's great about it. The music was on brand. Everything was on brand. It was, it was rad. an accurate representation of probably what you're going to get. Yep. Whoever he got to help him, it was really good. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, get it's really good. Way to go, RPC. Um, now, we don't want to give away any of his uh, prize premium content, but you said you have a little snippet here. Of... Right. Like he, so I have already subscribed to his only. Oh, how's it going for you? <laughs> It's uh, it's what dreams are made. Of. Yeah, you know, every yep. every yeah. night I go to. Uh, in all honesty, I was yeah. prepping this last night, and it was the hardest. Like, it was a very much needed laugh. Like, prepping yeah, I'm just yeah. fucked a lot, man. Yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, it's so I think he has nine or ten videos already uploaded to his. Oh wow, only fan. Thing, and I just took one of them, and it was right from the beginning. It's gold. So, and you know, <laughs> I figured we're just teasing this, you right? Know? Right. So it's we're not going to show his dick. You have to pay him money to see that. Okay. We're not going to show yeah. him actually coming. You're going to have to pay to see that. But you could definitely hear some of this stuff. Okay. <laughs> let's let's see what you pulled here. Uh, rape me, fuck me, and do rape C, man. And we can shoot it on him. And we can fund me in. Get it fun. And give it for charity, man. Yeah, for charity, man. But give it to charity, man. Fuck, man. Use and abuse me. I'm going to give it to fucking charity. You like that, man? Use it for charity, man. Yeah, yeah, the virus. You're the virus enough to let me. Let me know. <laughs> what? Wait, what? The, he wants the virus to fuck him. He. What? I didn't understand that. He part. wants to rape. You can rape him, and then he's giving the proceeds to charity. I got that part. Um, that is more than enough, I think, for a subscription. Just yeah, for charity. As an angle, if you're just like, if you say that, I'm like I want to see what else you say. I don't see anyone offering that kind of stuff on OnlyFans. No. 
So hey, fund me. I need two BBCs, a four BBCs that come over, a twenty-three ninety-five Wagner House is part of the Avenue, East Harlem. Um, make a hot rape scene. Use it, abuse me, and degrade me. I mean, fucking degrade me. Okay, I'll mm -hmm. go ahead. And uh, for me, so we can make this fucking shit happen, motherfucker. <laughs> I love that it really is an extension of who he's always been. It's just on a new platform. Like, it is exactly what he's been doing. Yeah. You know, like in Instagram and YouTube videos, but it's like new platform, he f yeah, new he, level of energy. I feel like he, there's new relationship energy in this. And you know what else, too, is that he found a way to take everything he's great at and package it on the proper platform. I mean, before he was wasting his energy on the Instagram stories. It was there. It was in yeah. the live leak videos or the YouTube. This is a perfect place for him, and we can see are it you, all. Do you, are, do you follow somebody else on Only? Do you have OnlyFans subscription or anything? I mean, I just created it just for RPC. Just for RPC. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. you going to see what else is out there? I, I would love like a compare and contrast kind of thing, you know? You know what? I'll. Uh, it's part of being a producer on this show. I'll bite that bullet for you. <laughs> I'll go see. Well, I'd like to see if you go like, you know, other people are doing things differently. You know, I, I just feel like it would be valuable to know. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll see how he compares and what other people are offering and if it feels. Because I'm really good at seeking value. I'm the value seeker. That's right. Yes. So I, I'll let you know if it's worth it next week. And this Shit, is everything. The great shit, shit water gets water sports all. And he goes piercing drugs, man. Smacking me around. Good. Um, uh, Christine, go ahead and find me so we can make this motherfucker shit happen, motherfucker. Well, and it's a new RPC. He's got the hat on. It's a very youthful look. He actually seems really energized he seems by this. Good. I think it's because yeah. somebody said, Hey, this platform, you can get paid. Yes. And you can still do your shit and you know, people want like maybe you could film you having this happen yeah you know you can yeah it, it you can feel it he really is fired up about this yeah. you know i'm naked man you want, to, you want to take me to the hall later on do it a hall and you want to, yeah we can do the hall too you want to do it here man oh, yeah you want it, man come on motherfucker man rap rape is fucking home man i'm a fucking home fucking guy the cocksucker dick sucker like the black dick baby so come on baby <laughs> let's fuck <laughs> was that call a subscriber? Like, did he get a subscriber <laughs> in got, the moment? He do, got a do, notification. Do, do. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Another person just sent you your money. Wow. Onlyfans.com slash Robert Champagne. This is so It's so exciting. worth it. It's so worth it. It's really I great. I think I'm going to subscribe. It's really great. Man, you got... Oh, come. Oh, come. Oh, come. Oh, come. Oh, come. So this is a cop. I didn't realize <laughs> that he's a police officer. Oh, you didn't know that? What if the marches... Officer come dumb. What if... <laughs> that's right. What if the marches had guys like this watching <laughs> around right now? You know? Well, that's a different month, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he, and people were like, stop police brutality. And then Robert just walked out. I was like, oh! oh. <laughs> and they're like, well, actually, to yourself, it's fine. Oh my God! Wow, hold on. You know, you're just—I gotta take it in. I gotta take it in. The clips on the nips, yeah, and the dog collar with the chains, the police hat. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Oh man, I wanna come again? Wanna come again? I wanna come again? Oh, 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 don't keep it waiting, man. I mean, the licking the palm after the jizzing is a lot for me. It's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. But uh, yeah. did he just do that again right after yeah. the first? Wow, yeah. That's really impressive. That's yeah. a really impressive. <laughs> yeah. first come. Really impressive, especially a, a man wow. his age. How old yeah. do you think RPC? Uh, RPC's got to be in his 50s, I would guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah in his I'm 50s. impressed. Really good job, man. Good job. Oh, come. Oh, come. Oh. So, 
I'll come. I'll come. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. Thanks, Tom. Why? I wish you would start announcing it like that. Yeah? You like yeah, that? Gonna... It's I, such I a could porno do that. thing. I, I really like that. Thanks. Yeah, if you want me to. It's not a problem. Come again. Okie okay, doke. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dudes. Onlyfans.com slash Robert Champagne. <laughs> Um, and I think this is a great time to segue into the fundraiser I'm doing. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so traumatized. Um, will you pull that up on the screen? So I am doing a fundraiser for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and I'm doing it virtually on Zoom, the way the world works now. And I would love if you guys, the people that follow this show um, would consider either donating or getting tickets. Um, what we'll do is we'll spend an hour together on Zoom. Um, hopefully a bunch of you will be there and I can just hit a screen and we can talk and hang out. It'll be, uh, can you make that bigger? Uh, I think it's Friday the 12th. Is that the detail on that? I'm just trying to scroll down a little bit. Yes, right? Yes, Friday, June 12th, uh, uh, 9 p.m., Eastern, 6 Pacific. Um, if you buy tickets, you'll be sent a Zoom link. If you don't want a ticket for it, you want to donate, that's also great. All proceeds from the event will benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, a global leader in the fight against cancer. Uh, it's a great organization. I'm very happy to participate. Again, $25 gets you access to the event. The Zoom link will be sent to you. We will spend an hour together Friday, June 12th from 9 p.m., Eastern, six Pacific for an hour. I'm really excited to do it. Um, I actually saw, you know, Bert was doing these like virtual Zooms and um, I actually, when these people approached me, I, I actually used that idea. I said, well, you know, my friend did it this way. So um, they liked it and that's what we're gonna try. Really appreciate you um, donating or getting tickets. And uh, I'll, uh, the, the link to it will be in this YouTube description, correct? Yeah, of this episode. Yeah, of this episode at the top, it'll be there. I'll also put it in my stories on Instagram. I'll put it on my Twitter. Um, and hopefully we can move some tickets, raise some funds for a really good cause. And uh, again, thank you very much to them. Now right. that is uh, the evening time. That is 10 milligram Tom time. Yeah. Will oh, you be? Oh, oh. <laughs> I, it's going to be 20 milligram Tom for the hangout. Oh, wow. You don't want to yeah. miss that, you guys. That's you know a what? fun one. I might even consider it upping the dosage wow 30 milligram tom why not 50 milligram oh tom? shit and if we do 100 money. milligram tom it'll just be <laughs> i know like that you can be like tom and i'll go <laughs> <laughs> could be fun no we'll have a good time we'll yeah. have a good time I'll, can, I'll drink you get wasted i'll get wasted i'll get yeah i'll get faded bro oh cool yeah that's gonna be fun that'll be really good it'll be a good time yeah. all right awesome um okay so what else was there? Well, um, you know what I couldn't stop thinking about from last episode hmm. is, first of all, how much fun we had. It was crazy. It, man. I literally, I, I had to take a nap because I laughed so hard all day. And Sickler, like, you know, we're such longtime friends and we, you know, we find like the same, like we had the same sensibility and it's yes. just like so fun to just chop it up with him and laugh at things. I, I well, laughed so hard. And uh, the day started with, Josh Potter doing tit cups. Tit cups. And I can't And it get really it. affected him. It really did. I mean, he was afterwards, he was like, I still feel it. Yeah. He had that mark on his face for a couple of days. <laughs> it was it's pretty awesome. It was so good. Where great. are those tit cups? Uh, it's over here in the Oh, they're, okay. Yeah, are we're, you guys going to try them? Anyone else going to try them? What do you mean? Like, why don't you, do you want to give them a, uh, take them for a test drive? And see what? To see how they affect you. Yeah. If they'll make my already kind of big tits bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need to yeah. see what the result of that experiment is. Well, why don't is. you see what it feels like? Uh, is this for the show or are you just for my own personal? Okay, let's ask you on two fronts. Would you like to do it personally to see what it feels like? No. Would you like to do it for the show to see what it looks like on the and show? To keep whatever, your job. You, whatever you what? want, Mr. Tom. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. I would cups. definitely not force that but i would say that if you give a shit about what happens here you should do it read you loud and clear boss. okay i'm so excited does this mean we get tick cups part two 
No, I'm not doing this. Please. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I mean, you don't want to just... I'm just, I'm just curious. You don't want to see what that feels. It looked like it felt pretty crazy. I don't even go to the gym because I know that my chest will hurt like for, for a week <laughs> afterwards. Potter was fucking complaining. It's like, oh my God, I have bruises all over my body. This hurts my body. <laughs> um, do any of the guys there want to try it? Any? Uh, I'd be down, but I don't think it'll work. Yeah, you're too me. lean. You're yeah. too lean. Yeah, we need tits. You have to start. How about, uh, well, who's else what is in there? What about the nipple Zolo? ones? Zola, would you do it? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a no from Zolo. Zolo really blew you away in that you said you you worked here for so long and he just started and he came up with the ingenious way to not look at things that make him sick while prepping clips. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're adopting it. Well, right? if you uh, ever... no, no, no. Well, I mean, ever since Zolo started here, my way of not prepping gross clips was having Zolo do it. Instead. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had to prep a gross clip now, would uh -huh. you use his tactic? Uh, now, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, you know, it's. I feel like I'm an old dog at this point. Oh, so you're okay. And this is a new trick, and it's just like, well, yeah, my trick is just suck it up. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, at the beginning of of prepping this clip, this might be something that makes you want to puke. Yeah. But at the end of prepping it. You know, you got an iron gut by the end of it. Yeah. True. I feel like, look, I feel like we've done so much hardcore stuff. Like even Roberts is hardcore. But why don't we do something a little, you know what sure. I mean? Nicer. Why don't you try something nicer? So this is the newlywed couple here. And they're showing their love for each other by lovemaking. Lovemaking <laughs> just means making each other feel loved. How do you make a person feel loved? Well, you give them kisses and hugs and you hold them close. But between a man and a woman, it's a bit different. Oh, <laughs> where's this from? They tell each other oh. that they're beautiful and everything like that. <laughs> and they also have a bit of a laugh because they are the best of friends. And then something happens. In a very short time, because they're so close, the man feels his penis becoming erect. That's straight, <laughs> hard. And the sperm coming down into it. <laughs> Wait. The sperm comes down into an erect I don't penis? know that it comes down into it like that. Really? Yeah, that's how that works. That's what makes it hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. But how can it... I thought it was the pee that's in the balls, and then the pee goes from the balls into the penis. Well, yeah, but there's two different things. Hard. You're talking about multiple mechanisms. Yeah. Here. Oh. Now, while the sperm is coming into the man's penis, the woman's body is getting ready to receive the sperm. It's amazing, you know, how God made it. Yeah. Because... While they're making love and being happy together, the woman feels her vagina becoming kind of slippery inside so that the penis can easily slip in and out. Mm. No trouble. And if there is no trouble, trouble, just get some lube and you shove it in there. <laughs> no trouble. <laughs> right? Isn't that the best part? Like, hey, she's got a real dry box. Just get you some lube. You shove it in there. Yeah. You get some Crisco and shove it in hard. It's really important when you're shooting scenes because sometimes <laughs> we'll, like, we'll shoot for like an hour or two and they'll just dry out. Yeah, those are my least favorite things on porn when the woman looks dry and it hurts. In her face. I don't and she's like, like it. Is This reminds me of um, when I went to Catholic school. It was taught by Irish nuns, and I had an Irish nun teach sex ed. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is more descriptive than what I got. Really? Yeah. So he slips his penis into her vagina. Whoa, gives lady. Gives her the sperm. Then she has the sperm. Ugh. Then the penis slips out, and that's all. And that's all. No and that's called deal. sexual intercourse. Some oh. people call it having sex. So the man passes the sperm to the woman, and now his sperm is in her. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. But what about the part where he's sitting on the toilet taking a shit? That's and coming he wants up. Wants a blowjob. That's that's coming up. Oh, that's right here. Maybe you're wondering if a mistake could be made and a man could pass water instead of semen and sperm oh. Oh. when having sexual intercourse. Right. That can't happen because there's a valve which closes. To stop the urine coming oh. when sexual intercourse is taking From his place. balls. Into From his, his balls, exactly. Which gotcha. furthers the case that pee is definitely stored in the balls. Yes. Because she just said the balls and the sperm come from the, the pee and the well, sperm come from the same place. The valve closes. <laughs> you hold your pee in your balls. Your jizz comes out. <laughs> then pee can exit afterwards. But the penis, I wasn't aware that the penis became full of sperm and that's why it got hard because it's full of sperm. Yeah. <laughs> now, possibly you're saying to yourself, oh, I'll never do that. It's awful. Because, you know, when you hear about it first, it sounds very strange. But God has made it really lovely. 
an exciting and pleasant feeling. Yeah, it's really good. What do you mean? Pleasant. <laughs> it's awesome. She's a nun, right? I don't think she's a nun. No, she's got a wedding band on, but suddenly again, those nuns she's just wear an wedding old bands. Irish broad. She's an Irish. I think this is this is Catholic sex ed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is totally how they taught us, but even they didn't tell us this much detail. It's so funny. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, here's our next clip. Look, yeah. She did this. <laughs> I don't want it. Right after she did this. Right after. I don't know. No, she did. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh boy oh fuck shit kind of exciting so this woman just filled herself with water rectally oh yep. that's what that is yeah oh wow oh, wow so much yeah I want to see her poop it out yeah oh I don't like this Ugh. Ugh, stop it doke kind of cool you don't like this lane christina i don't like the sound of it sloshing in her intestines that's like, the cool part <laughs> i don't know about this one i just feel it's weird that the irish lady cut her face out of this one yeah you know well and how did she she was wearing a latex shirt under her Such flower a weird dress yeah it's weird let's go to the other one um it could slip off or break okay it's kind of like you can think of it in terms of Russian roulette. What is it, one in six that you're going to die? <laughs> when you use a condom, it's like you're playing Russian roulette. There is less chance that when you pull the trigger, you're going to get a bullet in your head. But <laughs> who wants to play Russian roulette with a condom? <laughs> but this is what sex ed felt like in the 80s and the 90s. Whoa. This is what it felt like. This is why I was terrified. Oh, get off. Russian roulette getting pregnant is like Russian. So the next time that somebody wants you to go to bed with them with or without a condom, then just picture that you're actually going to bed. It's not just you and him or you and her. It's that you're packing along a loaded revolver with you when you go. <laughs> wow. 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 This this combined with marijuana usage will definitely kill you. <laughs> just so you know. If you take That's marijuana and you get in bed with someone, you will die. <laughs> but uh, do you trust anybody with a haircut that stupid? I know immediately that this woman is full of shit. Yeah. By her whole She's appearance. Fucking idiot. That coat, the scarf, the, the haircut fucking haircut. Alone. I mean, look how stupid haircut. Your hair I mean, she is. looks like her face should. <laughs> yeah, she looks like Shem from the, the what is it, Three Stooges? Mm -hmm. Didn't one of the Three Stooges have a haircut like this? <laughs> yeah. And not only that, when you go to bed with that person, you're not just going to bed, bed with, with that person. You're going to bed with bed every with. other person that this. person has ever gone to bed with before <sighs> in their life. Yep. So just picture it's as if you're all <laughs> crawling into one bed That's together. Me. That's me in high school. That's, there I am. What? Oh, she shit. Right there. She just ran through all those dicks. <laughs> she was like, that's a lot. She was doing the math. She yeah. was like, that's a lot. Of it's an infinite regress of dick, of dick bacteria. Yeah. This That's, is how they. This is how they talk to us in school. This is yeah. why I wouldn't fuck dudes in the fucking nineties because of this. Picture it's as if you're all crawling into smile. one bed together. <laughs> all like, those dicks. Yeah. That'd be good, huh? <laughs> what if I want to have sex before I get married? Yeah. Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. <laughs> yeah. Oh my this is God. how they I'm telling you this is I know what did you get sex out yeah, like of course this? yeah this was terrible yeah it's really cool Jesus Christ man be prepared to die, die. That yeah is AIDS, AIDS 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 will kill you well I guess you just have to be prepared to die mm. to have sex this was nutty I remember this I remember like you remember getting an AIDS test in the 90s and you'd have to use, back in the day, you'd have to wait like a week or two to get the results. You never took an AIDS test? No. What the fuck is wrong with you? In the 90s? Yeah, no. dude. I'm a little, I'm three years older than you. That means I did three more years of fucking than you did. Yeah, I know. And that's why I didn't have it done in the 90s. Oh my God. While you were whoring around, I was in fucking middle school. That's true. Yeah, and you're going to die, Billy. Forget about the gays. Be prepared die for your cum 
That's what she said to them. It is fucking, whew, man. Yeah, I know. It was intense back then. That really was something, man. Imagine a pig with tits. So, <laughs> I would have loved if Norm taught that sex ed class. I think Norm would have a healthier attitude. Than I think this he would lady. too. She scared him. Oh, um, we don't do a lot of politics on the show, but did you see this clip of Biden doing this? <laughs> no. You know, check this out. No. You don't have to cut those teachers and firefighters, police officers, and cut critical health care programs. Or stop work on roads and bridges. So what does the human cost uh, of lack of state and local fiscal relief look like in Pennsylvania? Did you get that? Did he cut the cheese? He farted, yeah. <laughs> he farted on live television. Let's hear that again. And he leaned. He, you can see him lean a little bit. <laughs> He's got my, he definitely has my vote. Teachers and firefighters, police officers, and cut critical health care programs. Or Which stop work on roads and bridges. So... What and then does this guy shake his head? Uh, <laughs> yeah. See him shake his head. State yeah. and local fiscal relief look like in Pennsylvania. He heard it. Yeah. He heard it. He thought he could sneak that one out. He yeah. Just, you move a little <laughs> bit. After at that age too, you're probably like, I mean, how much am I trying to conceal these things? You know. Or stop he, work on roads and bridges. So. That's, he farted. <laughs> kind of wet. It's a little. Kind of wet. wet. Do you think it gets harder to hold in your farts the older you get? Definitely. Definitely. Like does or your, stop work on roads and bridges. So. <laughs> He farted. It's fantastic. On the air. He's got my vote. Do you think that your dad even tries to hold in farts never, anymore? Never. Never. Definitely, <laughs> definitely does not hold them in at all. What year do you think he stopped trying? 83. <laughs> I mean, because he's farted in public places with you, like restaurants oh, and yeah. stuff. Like he does not care. Doesn't give it. Doesn't give a shit at all. <laughs> And he will rip disgusting, you know, farts that clear rooms. Yeah. <laughs> you um, you see this, but this is pretty hilarious. How do you get a job here, you fuck face? Uh, people have left reviews at Falcon Car Wash. <laughs> of course. <laughs> on Yelp. Of course they have. Five stars. Great place to go if you have a scurvy twat that just needs feathering. If you have a bad tooth, it needs to be removed with a wrench. But I tell you what, if you come here and you're not following Proto, you might just might lose your job, buddy. Also, lots of whites around here. <laughs> um, and then Norm, I've always had trouble keep, keeping not only the outside of my car, but also the inside of it clean. Every car which I went to before never left me satisfied with a proper cleaning. That all changed when I went to Falcon Car Wash. The associate I dealt with, Conald, followed Proto and made sure to fill the inside of the car all the way up with water. It was spotless. He got out all the poutine stains and the loose teeth out of the crown molding. <laughs> Holy shit. Five stars. Five stars. Falcon Car Wash. Captain J here. Oh, no. Former employee, <laughs> secret double agent Connolly Peterson was very helpful with removing my bad tooth, feathering my hair, no haircut needed, and helping me wave over a lady with a bag of meth. He did leave my car's moonroof open, which ruined the upholstery, <laughs> but that's okay. I've learned so many skills. <laughs> Thanks, Captain J. These are hilarious, man. Um,. Mark wrote, I was feathering it one day and decided me and the dog needed to get the car washed. Everyone followed Proto. They <laughs> let me go on with my business inside the car. I run Herkster's Tattoo while you masseuse and barbershop and pardon. Oh, okay, light your brain on fire. These are really <laughs> funny. Um, if you do leave a Falcon Car Wash five-star review, we do ask that you leave it five stars. <laughs> Please give them the thumbs up review. Um, Can you imagine to Arnold. how confused Falcon Car Wash must be? Right oh, now. yeah. They're yeah. like, what? And to add to the mayhem, we have a new Fed Smoker what? clip. Let's get into it. Now, Americans, I do a lot of hard work out here for you and God. This has nothing to do with little Z. She's one of the best chicks I ever had in my life hanging out with me. And we were never boyfriend and girlfriend on a chariot like that. We were fuck partners. Cool. Well, this is a nice in-depth look into his love life. We yeah. never knew what his relationship. And he's pointing out was. white vehicles, right? Those yeah, are the, white, the white chariots. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. And he he really has a thing for those. And he's also really good at flinging his camera around and catching it perfectly, and then right back. Like right he, back he's to done him. this a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we took it an hour at a time, is what I told her. Go an hour at a time. So what I'm looking for now. It's like a hundred to hundred ten pound, long-legged, real beautiful fucking tiny ass. I like his, you know, 
He's putting out there what he likes. Knows what he wants. That's pretty cool. 100 to 110 pounds. Beautiful, tiny ass. That's tiny for a woman. 110 pounds. You're, he likes them spinners. Yeah. That's well, a little, little girl. Petite. Yeah, he looks like a real petite fan too. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he probably knows what he's looking for. Woo! It's almost deformed looking big boobs. Deformed looking big boobs. Probably real big. Uh, more of an ass man. I like a little ass. Like a... Dr. Drew and I were trying to figure out what the hand tattoo was. It looked like an animal claw. Oh, it's the Constitution. I read it. It's it's all, <laughs> he has the whole thing there. He's a what? big fan. Yeah, he's- Are you being serious? He's a legal scholar. Yeah, oh. he uh, he loves America. Yeah. That's why he always starts his videos. All right, Americans, you know. Got you, got you. It's a claw? Well, it looks like, yeah, there's talons, so mm -hmm. it could be an eagle's. <laughs> America. Yeah. Yeah, eagle's I don't talon. know, there's yeah. some kind of animal claw thing happening. Just fucking lick that pussy to pieces on a white chariot or so, I imagine. Anyways, that's what I'm looking for. God. I seem to never can find it. You can find it. You can find yeah. it. Does it cut off there? Like mid sentence? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you would click with Conald. I think so. I was just, I wish you were still alive. We could do like a dating show for him. That'd be great. A lady. Lick that pussy to pieces. There's that girl. Who's that lady uh, that her, the coochie bugs jumped off of her peaches? Oh. Yeah. yeah maybe peaches. Yeah. They seem true. wild and kind of free. Yeah. She might like a wild guy like Connell. He's very wild. Yeah. He's very wild. Connell doesn't fuck around, man. Who would you rather sleep with? Okay. Connell. Mm hmm. Or Robert Paul Champagne? <sighs> man. I got to say, the you'd feel like this could go mm. badly at any moment more with Connell. Yeah. Definitely. The unpredictability. Ultimately, Robert wants you to abuse him. Right. So, right. That's true. You know, he wants to be hit and pissed on and right. fucked and just, you can do whatever. You can shove him over and shit on him. Also, well, maybe we should hook up Robert Paul with Connell. With, with Connell's that might corpse. Be, yeah. Yeah. yeah it'd be if great. they were still alive. Yeah. <laughs> but Connell's into 110 pound chicks with tiny asses and deformed tits. Right. They're just not a match. Sorry. But I like what you're thinking. But I definitely feel like this would be way scarier to be in a bedroom with. Connell, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. energy's a little unpredictable. Yeah. You're not if, sure. And I think it'd be especially terrifying if you're that 100-pound girl oh <laughs> with God. the fucking tiny ass. I think you would be like, oh, my God. Uh, well, what's interesting, too, I think, I, I mean, I have a theory. Is this kind of, these kind of sunglasses? Are red. They're yeah. lunatic shades, right? I mean, like, like I said, do you play in outfield or <laughs> are you a fucking meth head? They work for both. Yeah, it's very distinct that they this is this attracts a particular type of guy. It does. Triple A ball players and uh, <laughs> meth heads. Yeah. Guys yep. that go fast, do yeah. things fast. Do things fast. <laughs> I think fast, I move fast. What's up, Americans? Ah. Ah. <laughs> so <laughs> just chill, bro. No chill. By the way, we talked. We saw this today. We went for a morning walk. We saw a lady walking two dogs. Yeah, and one was dyed purple and one was dyed pink. Yeah, the purple one was really dark in some places, like <laughs> a ton of dye. And is that animal abuse? <laughs> I, you know, I've never had the urge to dye our dogs any color. Mm -hmm. I know. I think taking them to the groomer is like punishment enough for them. Right. Like I don't. I don't. But that, I can't imagine. That is definitely for your own amusement. Right. I can't imagine the dog. The dog. The dog's not like. Does oh, want God, it. I wish I was purple. Yeah, and yeah. like maybe it irritates their skin it and might. stuff. It might. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I. I don't even really like putting bows and shit on Because at dog. first when you see it, you're like, the fuck? You see a purple dog walk by? Yeah. It's, Why is this dog yeah, purple? Yeah, and it was a white, it was originally like a white poodly yeah. thing like that. Yeah, like what are you doing? And then you go, I feel like this is kind of an asshole move, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're kind of a fucking dick. 
I think it's one thing to shave your cat like a lion. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah. But like, why are you fucking with a dog? Like, stop I dying the dog. The dying, it just feels... Like, what do you... The dog doesn't want to be pink. I don't know. It just, it seems, it feels wrong. I could be, I don't know, overreacting, but. No, it's fucked up. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm not into it. I'm not into it. No. My mother, when, when, when my stepdad and my mom stole a dog from a neighbor one time, the Shih Tzu, we had a dog for like a week that they had stolen and she didn't like the way the dog smelled because it smelled like a dog. Yeah. And she would spray Charlie perfume on the dog. What's Charlie? Charlie. It's like an old perfume from like the 80s, 90s. Mm -hmm. And that poor dog, like I was like, the dog doesn't want to smell like perfume. Dog smells are very important to mm -hmm. them. Right? Yeah. yeah, of course. It was like. Oh, no, the dog ugh. would immediately then go lay in the dirt. and Yeah, they don't want try that Try to get stuff. that off of them. They don't want perfume. They want to smell like a dog. Yeah. Their whole yeah. survival is like They're smells. aware that they're dogs. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, I'm not uh, you. You're people. I'm a dog. Yeah, you stupid bitch. And I want to, I want to be with other dogs. Yeah. We like this smell. And you know what I saw too the other day is a woman pushing around. Like, you know when they do, the, there's always the older lady with like a baby carriage full of dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And they weren't elderly dogs because yeah. I understand sometimes if the dog is old, they were like young, spry Yorkies. Pushing, listen, let's Three of them. If you're pushing <laughs> a dog so crazy. in a stroller, no offense, but. <laughs> this is just for white people. It really is. <laughs> it really is. That's who pushes a dog in a stroller. Okay? I know. It's so true. Mm. That is Sorry, so... Sorry, it's cultural. True. Well, it's it's insane because dogs like to walk. They yeah. it, it regulates them. And, and you know, th that's what they do. They walk. So yes. Taking that away from the dog, it's fucking weird. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Whoop. Check it out, man. Check it out. Right there on my wrist. I'm so obsessed with this thing. I study the data like I'm studying my portfolio. It's incredible. It has everything that I do, it tracks. How I sleep, how I train, how I recover, resting heart rate, heart rate variability, whether I had something to drink, alcohol, whether I had marijuana, whether I had a, a, a sleep medication, whether I was stressed out, was I reading, all these things that can affect how you sleep, how you rest, how you recover. It keeps track of all of it. And then you can get performance charts to see like, oh, when you did this on this day, you ended up sleeping or recovering this way. It has the sleep coach, a strain coach. Your phone just gives you a notification. You should be going to bed at this time if you want to get the amount of sleep you need to feel your best. I love it all. For our listeners, Whoop is offering 15% off with the code YOURMOM at checkout. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com. Enter your mom at checkout to save 15 percent sleep better recover faster and train smarter optimize your performance with whoop you know how you just do one thing in your life you make one little improvement and boom your whole life has changed right like first i started just maybe taking a little walk and now sometimes i jog believe it or not mm -hmm. brooklinen it's the same way maybe you'll buy yourself a nice towel from brooklinen and suddenly your bathroom is transformed into a luxury spa or maybe you buy some sheets from Brooklinen, and now your everyday bed feels like a luxurious experience. That's how I feel every time I use Brooklinen sheets. We love them. They're on our bed right now. I like them white. They're nice and clean. They're nice and fresh. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you go in there, it feels like you're you're laying in butter. They're such good quality. Um, and they're, they're luxury products at such a low price. That's the best part about Brooklyn and the price. And I've had all these fancy sheets and trust me, these are the absolute best. They're the best. And they also have towels, shower curtains, bath mats, robes, and candles to add that extra lavish touch. Loungewear, silk eye masks, robes, furniture, art, and totes, the final little details that make up your big upgrade. Brooklinen.com is the perfect place to start making small changes that make big differences. Brooklinen is so confident in their products that all their sheets, comforters, loungewear, and towels come with a lifetime warranty. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Get 10% off your first order and free shipping when you use promo code MOM only at Brooklinen.com. Brooklinen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. What's this uh, cartoon? Is that my supposed to play that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone made a really cool uh, cartoon of you know our our very own Dr. Drew. Oh okay. One of our favorite cool guys. All right. <laughs> oh, Let's see no. it. <laughs> oh my god.
Okay. This is fantastic. And that's Drew in the nurse's outfit there? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Has got, he seen this? Uh, we have not showed it to him yet. That's really cool. He's got hairy legs. How much do you think Dr. Drew loves being ro roped into this world? And by the way, that was Brain <laughs> Switch that made that. Brain Switch. That's really cool. I want to I wanna send this to Norm. I think he would just flip for this. Yeah. I mean, he's got pig hooves and he's got, what has he got there? Eight tits. Yeah. Um, and two, all four, of them six. are tattooed. They're all yeah. tatted up and he's got pig ears and a pig snout. It's Aww. really, a, the attention to detail is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's all those dildos in the corner. <laughs> and it looks like there's um, shit on the mattress. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Uh, should we discuss 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days? It's absolute mayhem right I now. I mean, are you kidding me? I don't know how you guys, if you're not yet into this show. But get into the current season. I think you need to start there. Yeah. The one that's airing now. It's uh, You can buy it on iTunes. You got to get into it because it's just fascinating. Yeah, we just talked to somebody who starts with season one. This is the season. You got to get on this season, yeah, the current season. This is the one. There's, there is no other season but this current situation. So the latest, I mean, the biggest update I would say is that you see David. Remember the tool oh with fuck. the wig who went six times to the Ukraine to meet his girlfriend? <laughs> and then it turns out she's actually real. Well, he finally, he's like, uh, he's like I'm going to, I really want to stop communicating through the chat site where you pay and he tells her he's like I, i'd like to get off the chat site now and you can see her go fuck i'm not gonna get paid anymore <laughs> I know. and then he's she's like mm -hmm. yeah me too and he goes so i bought you a phone he buys her like an iphone and he gives it to her and she's like all right i guess that's kind of a form of payment so <laughs> there's that and then this is a spoiler here if you're watching or if you want to watch spoiler alert at the airport when he's leaving, he's like, I'm going back. He's like, I'm in love with you. And she's like, <laughs> and then every time he hugs her, he goes, mm. stop. Mm. We, there's so much going on. Mm. Stop. Can you bring up David? With we need, every hug. Yeah, we need mm. to go. Here, here's a tutorial. I think how we should approach this is a tutorial for men, like what not to do. Because look, I want this guy to succeed. But there's so much shit aesthetically that he could be changing. First of all, he wears this ridiculous leather coat. Trench coat. It's a trench coat. It's, it's what the fucking Columbine shooters yeah. wear. <laughs> totally. Like that's what he wears. Yeah. He's 60. He looks terrible. It's a terrible <laughs> A jacket. black leather trench coat. He yeah. looks like such a fucking D-bag. Yeah. And it doesn't even fucking <laughs> fit, bro. Like you need to get clothes. You must have clothes that fit. That's rule number one. Nothing fits. All Nothing his shirts fits. are oversized. Look, you don't have to buy custom clothes. This is the advice I would give to any dude like this. Take your fucking clothes to a tailor, like a tailor shop. A dry cleaner yeah. will do it for $10. Yes. And they'll make the shirt fit nicer and they'll make the pants fit nicer. <sighs> he looks like a dick every time he steps <laughs> out of his room. He look like a Because his clothes looks insane on him. Douchebag. And the thing is, is like... Lana will totally go for this guy because she's like, he's American, he's a, got a Ferrari because he's sending pictures of himself with a Ferrari. Like, if he just made himself look cooler, this yeah. girl would be on board, I think, a but lot But you know faster. why he doesn't look like that? <laughs> because nobody loves him. Oh, he needs a woman to clean he, him he up. He needs a woman to be like, oh, you look like a fucking tool bag. Yeah. So let me help you. Like, that's what he needs. You know, when you see yeah. a guy in the lobby or at the airport and you're like, look at this fucking, fucking lonely bastard. Schlub. Yeah. Okay, here's let's start from the top. The hair, obviously, it is, it is too dark. This is like dark brown hair that you have in your 20s. He's and 60 he's, years old. Yeah, stop it. So And he has got that dumb fucking thing where the hair goes <sighs> over the top quarter of his ear. <laughs> like anybody wants that. Like you want your hair just covering the top half of your ear. Like, Wait, come on, man. That's how mommy cut it. That's, that's like, what your mommy cuts. It's <laughs> such like, why would you need someone to tell you that looks terrible? That looks terrible. Right. So maybe he's been getting the same haircut for like his 60 whole years. Life. Yeah. yeah. And he, so you need to update your hair. The hair is garbage. 
Now, he's not a bad looking guy. No, he's it's just, 60. Yeah. So let's go take care of the teeth. The teeth could use a freshening up too. Okay. They they look a little older. Just go get them freshened. Yeah. And just get some shirts that fit, man. And shirts that fit. Okay. And ditch those polo shirts. Get something nice. And set the trench coat on fire. Oh my God. The trench coat. Even she said it the first time she met him. She was like, everybody else was already saying it. <laughs> and she was like, he looks handsome. Everything. He looks good. Maybe not that coat. <laughs> like, his rapey kidnap coat is throwing me off. <laughs> the trench coat mafia coat. Yeah. yeah the guy looks, looks like crazy. shit. This is the best still of the whole show, by the way. He's meeting oh, yeah. her for the first mm. time. Mm. Okay, and let's go mm. to the sound. Now, hold on with the sounds. Now, we haven't even gotten to how he acts. So he's hugging her for the first time. And look at how happy he is. And look the arms on her down. Straight down. Straight down. Yeah. Locked elbows. I mean, she couldn't lock it up. It tells you that somebody <laughs> is into you, you know? Here's another th point. Okay, yeah. so let's go, let's go to the behavior. Okay. First yeah. of all, he's a wussy who can't even ask, hey, how come you didn't? You stood me up, bitch. He should have stood up for himself oh, a long time ago. So he's not standing up for She himself. got mad. He did go, um, I hired a private investigator. She got mad. This is like their first time they hung out. And he goes, I hired a private investigator because, you know, you uh, you didn't respond and all the, you, you weren't there. And she was like, hmm. She's very <laughs> upset. So mad. Yeah. Because yeah. she's a hustler. Okay. So let's go to dinner. They meet finally for dinner for the first time. What does she order? Coffee? Grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice, yeah. He orders wine. Yeah. So what does that say? I don't want to limber up. I don't want to F you. Of course. I don't want and anything then, to do with you sexually. Uh, like a couple dates in, because he stayed there for a few days, he's like, I want to invite you to my hotel room tonight. Like It's like, oh my God. It's so, like, it's so cringy if someone's like, I would like you, I would like to propose... <laughs> That you come to my hotel room. Tonight. I would throw up. Yeah, if he's like, would it would it be okay if you were to fillet me later in my room? And would you be interested in like, disrobing ugh. and entering my ugh. quarters? Ugh. And she's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like it feels like I'm watching like my dad flirt. <laughs> like, do when, your dad, nah, do your buddy, dad flirt. You gotta get them talking. All right. You know what I do is I see if I were single, I would go up to a lady at a coffee shop, all right? And you say, do you prefer sweetener or Splenda? That's what he said one time and, we asked uh, him. Like, what the fuck? And he goes, "Yeah." well, you got to get the conversation going. <laughs> oh, God, sweetener or Splenda. So then, then they go, oh, that's interesting that you asked. <laughs> And, uh, you know, then they might say, I use uh, sugar in the raw. And you go, oh, I didn't even think of that option. <laughs> well, that's, that is pretty good. But it's in good reality, don't you think he would be like, now, who do you think? Which war killed more people? Oh. Is it World War II oh, or yeah. Vietnam? He knows so many war <laughs> stats. Do you know how many Jews died in Vietnam War? <laughs> I That's the first date. I'm like, That's the first date. No, how many? 287. I'm like, why are you telling me that? <laughs> That's what he would talk about on yeah. his first date. It's a, it is a miracle that your dad bagged your mom. at. She yeah. was like 28 years old in Peru. And like maybe the language barrier was. Helped. No, yeah. it helped. <laughs> Let's be honest. It definitely helped. Because <laughs> right. she didn't understand that he was just talking about horrible shit all the time. Yeah. No. Thank he, God for that language barrier. He also remember the bank stuff, his bank <laughs> tutorial. Yeah. You go to the bank, all right? This is how he hits on girls. Yeah. This is how we meet girls. And so you go to the teller and you you see her. Oh my god. And you say <laughs> you you remember what she wore. Let's say she wore a red dress. <laughs> and then you go back and you see her and you say, "You know, I really like that red dress you have." Oh my god. And then the next week when you come in on the same day, if she's wearing that dress, she likes you. <laughs> yep. <sighs> no yeah. game. But I think your dad. What are you talking about? That's A1 game. No. But I. How do you think your dad picked up Charo then? 
What do you, let's call her and figure out. She probably remembers. You know, your mom has an impeccable memory about romance. Mm. Let's, what, does she remember the first thing Top Dog said to her? I'm oh sure she's God. playing bridge right now. We tend to call her during her bridge hour, but <laughs> do you think? Let's see if we can, uh, do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Buddy. Watch, she's going to say, yeah. buddy. Hey, buddy. Hello? Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. How you doing, man? Hey, hey I want to. Good. Doing I wanna, great. I want to ask you something. Do you remember? Sure. Do you remember what you first said to mom, like, when you were, you know, hitting on her or whatever? Do you remember, like, the first thing you said? Um. Well, I can tell you the first thing I thought, but I can't remember the first thing I said. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Ask um, him, what's the first thing you well, thought? Well, yeah, what'd you think great, about? Great tits. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, nice, a little bit of tease cleavage, but not too much. You know, some women overdo it with the cleavage. She had just the right amount to make the mind wander. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So, um, is she around? She's playing bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> course this is this is the new normal time this will is, you uh, will you do me a favor will you sure can you peek in and be like hey hey tommy's got a quick question again yeah let me run in there okay thanks <laughs> but i have to say like father like son with yeah. the tits all right yeah hold on okay let me put a speaker hold on with that buddy I tell you, a, a day without you commenting on my text is like. Tommy's got a quick question. Okay, Tommy. Hey, Mom. Hi, Tommy. How's Bridge going? Well, as far as you don't interrupt, it will be better. Hey, do you remember the first thing Dad said when he hit on you the first time? When he hit on you? you know, I tried to flirt with you and everything. You know? Yeah. Oh, when he hit on me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He called me the queen of a. Um, he's so stupid. He called me the queen of the toilet. And he saw that as a compliment. <laughs> what? what? I swear he saw that was a compliment. How? He got lost in translation. No. Lost in translation. I have a translator. What did he say? He's like, you're the queen of the toilet. And I like that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I guess what? I couldn't speak English. So I was with a friend. He was waiting outside the toilet. I saw the bathroom. So he goes, oh. So when my friend came. That was the queen of the toilet. When my friend came, I said, what did he say? And he said, you don't want to know. I said, yes, tell me what he said. He called you the queen of the bathroom. Queen and of I the said, bathroom. What? Yeah. Queen of the bathroom. Queen of the toilet, excuse me. And then he had the boss to come to the guy who was sitting next to me, who was my right. Yeah. And ask him. If, he can, if we can give him a ride, because all of a sudden his car has disappeared. So the guy asked me, he doesn't have transportation. I said, no way this guy is coming in our car. Wait, dad needed a ride from you? From the guy who was taking me to the... Oh, you know. and you said no way? And you might have and I said, okay. So you didn't give him a ride? No. <laughs> Did you think he was good at yeah. flirting? Yeah, he is a champion. And he considers himself, and guess what, Tommy? Huh? He thinks that he's a flirtatious person. Yeah. And that's how yeah. he flirts. Yeah. Do you remember any of his do you remember any of his other lines? Queen of the toilet. Uh what else can you call me? I mean well, he, he has full time uh, uh, No, me gusta to me gusta to what did you say? <laughs> Again? Say my Kyla Baba for the chucha. That's exactly what you were saying. Uh, oh my God. That, those, were his, those were his compliments, Tommy. Nice. Dad, do you have any other cool flirting lines you remember? Yeah, you might give him ideas here. Oh, I, you know, I, I think that I'm more into the thoughts than the lines because I realize, you know, there's a language, but I, I was Schmidt, let's face it. I, I, I was. This business about, you know, guys play hard to get and stuff. I was, 
I was enthralled from the get go with with Charo. Oh yeah. How so? What else did you say? What else did you say to get that conversation going? Lip. Huh? What else did you say to get that conversation going? Any other lines or you know yeah, I, thought I starters? Remember. I don't remember. You know. I, I don't remember specifically what I said. I just you know. Do you like um, salt or pepper? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, you know, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite color? You like fish or meat? Yeah. Uh, you know what? You know, things like dumb, stupid things like that. Just Show me how get, those big tits stuff. fart. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. I still got that picture in the house too. I want to tell you. Of those big tits. It was a great can, Tommy. Let me tell you. Okay. Great. Oh my God. Cool. <laughs> Mom, he, okay. mom, he, he loves your tits still, mom. I think that's why he married me. It is why he married. It's a, he says the first thing he thought of. And listen, she's gained a little weight. She's gone up a whole cup size lately. Nice. Oh, wow. Good. A whole cup size. Yeah, I will get new bras. I will always How think of them as a food source, mom. You will always be a milk factory to me. I like that, mommy. I'm look, I can't always. You're all, you think of them as a food source. You'll always be a milk factory. <laughs> what, what does he say to her now to woo her? What kind of sweet things is he saying? Yeah, what do you say now, Dad? What do you say now to flirt with Mom? Hi, baby. <laughs> Anything else? You know, I tell you, Tony, her boobs have gotten so big that, that I, I had to have underwire put in all her bras, okay? This is not even funny. Mom, show them how those big tits they, fart. And and, and, they, and the underwire sets off the metal detectors at the airport. <laughs> and that's a fun one to talk about with TSA. My wife's boobs are so big, we put wire in her bra. That's why the alarm's going off. Yeah. All right. All right. I love you guys. You're exactly right. I, mean, that's right. <laughs> I know. Love you, buddy. All right. Have a good bridge game, Mom. Bye. Bye. Thanks for you as well. <laughs> she said, thanks to you, I lost. <laughs> We're yeah. always calling it bridge time, Tommy. Now, another thing, all right? So. Sweet. He liked your salt and pepper thing. He was like, yep, yeah, meat or fish. Yeah. He liked that. He, yes, anded you with he really meat does, or fish. He yeah. really does like. <laughs> no. You know. So, yeah, he's terrible. So, he's terrible at flirting, I should say, not in life. Yeah, yeah. So, but, okay, so here's some no-nos from David with David and Lana. First of all, first of all, it's the asking, right? May I, oh, may I, may I do you want to come up? Do you want to go to my hotel room? And then, of course, she was like. Would you like, like to join me at my hotel? <laughs> she was like, yuck, no, you're gross, you're old. Because that's not how you do it. You don't go like, would you like to <laughs> partake in more intimate time with me? It's fucking so weird. Right, because you kind of feel it when it's happening and yeah. like it's an you don't even have to it should just be like, Should we go? Yeah. And that's then it. you're like, Yeah, let's fuck. Like you just know shit's gonna go down. Okay, and then the constant, And you pull your dick out and you shove it in their mouth. And then you sit on the toilet <laughs> and you take shit and call her <laughs> she over. She sits on the <laughs> couch in the hotel room, you squat over her face and you, <laughs> you start to just thrust in her mouth. That's how people make love. <laughs> and then you roll the dice of dying. All right? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Are you prepared to die for sex? <laughs> so, but anyways, okay, so there's that, and he has no game. Oh, my God, you know what makes me want to vomit, too? Every mm. time he goes, mm. Mm, the, mm. Mm, and he hugs her, and he goes, mm. oh, get yeah. That is so gross. It is. The, it's pretty mm. gross. And then when he's like, he's like, oh, it feels so good to, to see you. you. And to f- it feels so, I'm like, oh, stop sharing Without a sharing condom, that. though. Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he does. He tells, he's like, you smell so good and you feel so good. <sighs> Next, it's like, God damn, dude. <sighs> I know. He's just over, you know, he's been so it's it's been so long without i think intimacy that's pro- part of the problem that's why you're not <laughs> cool yeah He's but like, that's why you're not cool with it man right it's like you haven't you haven't eaten a good meal mm. in 20 years and it's your first steak and you're like holy shit yeah you're losing it's your a mind. fucking ribeye and yeah it's, oh it's so juicy and there's 
<laughs> seasoning. Every bite has seasoning on it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing for a hug. He's like, oh, God, holding you right now. Like, <laughs> because you realize he put seven years of... Yeah. Of Pent a chat up. site just built up in him. He's like, you're real. Pent up. And don't forget, that's his fourth trip to the Ukraine. <laughs> to the Ukraine, not Utah. The Ukraine <laughs> to get to meet her. It's like a 28-hour journey God. because he's too cheap to and fly direct time, anywhere. <laughs> every time he came back, like, well, she she had to go to her nephew's hockey game. And he's like, uh, the friends are like, dude. And I can't believe that she actually came out of the fucking... <sighs> Well, let's Woods, let's the, talk about that because my theory is that the producers were like, let's find who this scammer is and let's pay her a grip of money and let's have this bitch show up. Now, do you think it's really I I, like who is this? There's a woman? really cool spoiler alert for you here. But when he uh, it's really, really cool to let <laughs> you know is that she definitely is like, I like gifts and I like things. <laughs> And she's like, hopefully, if I go with him, I will, I will go <sighs> get more gifts. <laughs> get Money is yeah. nice. She's like, it, yeah. she's not hiding it at yeah, all. No. Yeah, there is the time the where they go bowling on their oh, date. Oh God, bowling! And he's like, I used to. Yeah. So he tell, he's like, if I knock them all down, will you give me a kiss? And uh, uh, she's like, uh, okay. And then in this interview, he goes, I used to play professional. I used to be a professional bowler. Right, so he's like, I uh, kind of stacked the deck. <laughs> like he, he's all pleased with himself. Of course, he gets his strike, and then she's like, uh. <laughs> and they kiss, and he's like, mm. but then That's at the end of this, they've so spent revolting. some time together. They're at the airport. Revolting. Here's the spoiler. Okay, he gets on his knee, and he proposes to her. Mm. And she says yes. Crazy. And then he puts on her finger a cubic zirconia, a $200 <laughs> ring that yeah. he bought. That yeah. he bought that she definitely doesn't realize. She's like, oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a, I would bet that that night she went home and then the morning she went to a jewelry store. Yeah, and they were like, <laughs> cheap American pick of stuff. Fake. Fake, yeah. A fake ring. This is not real. And then she was like, she probably called him you give me a shit ring? Yeah. And he's like, oh, my dear Lana, I'm <laughs> getting on another plane right now. I just landed in Vegas. Well, Turns around. The, here's the deal, man, is that Lana is a hot Ukrainian babe. Yeah. She can do so much better than David. Yeah. You know, I think she just needs to get over here first, dump his ass, and then, you know. I don't think she's been ragdolled, though. That's what she... She has not no. been. She needs to be turned out. But she will when she gets to Vegas, because that's where he lives. And then yeah. she'll go meet some high roller who will turn that bitch, yeah, ragdoll her, as you I like mean, to say. <laughs> I mean, Beat the pussy really up. pounded, yeah. Ta stop it. She needs it. Because, you but can let tell me, she needs it. But let me tell you, because I really, when I started to think about this, we, we were sitting down analyzing this at, at home, is that it's really actually... Like I don't, I don't begrudge the women for doing this because they want to get out of the Ukraine, they want to get out of the Philippines, but to pick the guy who is so desperate and so sad, oh, and that's who does so it, so lonely that he's willing to funnel all this cash into empty promises and empty, like that is so evil. And it it's, is. It's terrible. I, but I, here's the difference: ugh. when you're doing it over the computer, you don't put a face to it. Right? right and it's yeah. easier to do and then you meet the like, it's like you meet somebody you you automatically <sighs> you humanize them you know yeah that's probably so why now she you go like oh fuck yeah of course man and it's harder to keep scamming basically you know you're, if you're doing that to somebody you know it's like if you're just like hey man every time you type on this thing you get a few bucks you're gonna just keep typing but yeah you meet that person and you see them face to face and you realize that they're like I mean, the way he looks at her, it's like a fucking kid, you know, like and a, looking at a yeah, fucking and, box of candy. He's and just like, oh, my God. These are all wags. They're weird alone guys. Very wag. I mean, and he's the president of the wag society. <laughs> the wag club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and wag club is adjacent to the cool guy club. It's you leave, right there. You leave a wag alone long enough and they turn cool. <laughs> so you got to be really careful with the wags. <laughs> yeah. Because wag gets messed 
gets dicked over enough by enough Lanas and he turns cool. cool. You turn cool. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. You're lonely really and then all of a sudden you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> And it's not the good kind of cool. No, it's not the good kind of cool. <laughs> I'm looking for girls for pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That dude. <laughs> yeah. That's when you get desperate yeah. and you can't even have Alana who's conning you out of the money. And, you know. So, uh, by the way, a bowling date, too. I have to say for like, I mean, I think they did it just to get photographs for her visa. I understand they're trying to make yeah. it look like they've been on dates. But in general, in general, a lady on like a first date probably doesn't want to put on smelly rented <laughs> shoes and then look dorky as fuck bowling. Date like, one. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. want to look cute and just sit there. I would think that like if you had thrown me into that situation, I'd be like date one with this chick. She probably wants to go to like a nice restaurant, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like spoil her. That's real what Real crazy she wants. idea like that. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> get her drunk. Get her. Feed her. Yeah. Like, take her somewhere classy. Take her to a nice place. Yeah. I would like to <laughs> bowl with you. Yeah. You want to go? You, no woman wants to fuck you in your hotel room after bowling, really. That Not was her. Fun. Return those shoes and let's go <laughs> for a stroll. <laughs> ah. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh is right. And he's oldest. He's 30 years her senior, so. She needs that thing where you go, like, she's facing away from you, and you go, you put your, her legs over your arms. <laughs> And then you go like her head here and you push her head down. Oh, yeah. I've seen the pile. Is that a, go, a, a, like that? And she's like, oh, communism. Like she just fucking you just break her of that ideology. OK, <laughs> that felt like a microaggression. It did. It did. I'm offended. It's turned me on, though. I'm, I'm so fucking horny There's... today. I don't know why. I just woke up with an erection again. There you Ooh. go. Help me. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that he guy. starts as a wag and turns then into turns a cool, cool guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, that was real cool. Where'd you find that guy? That's actually the super cool guy from a week or two ago that made the cum nips. Oh, that's him. God. That's Tonetta. That's cum nips. Mm-hmm. Oh god. He's, he's. We've been starting to go through some of his library, and let me tell you, he's. We're gonna see a lot of them coming up. Really? Thanks. Mm-hmm. Good. He's a super cool dude. The cum nips <laughs> are <fascinating>. so <laughs> revolting. So revolting. It was like 200 loads. Oh, Ugh. oh, it makes me Ugh. nauseous just to think Ugh. about. It is so bad. <laughs> they were his loads, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh. God damn well, it. Well, you know, A for effort and tenacity. Sticking to it. Ugh. His stick to Where do you store your loads? Like in a jar, like a mason jar? Well, we were watching, Where would you store we were watching uh, an interview with him. <laughs> And someone asked them, uh, why do you use cum? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, because it's cheap. Yeah, that's All true. All he needs time, and it's free pretty much. Nature's material. So Nature's is lunch clear. here? What's the status right now? <laughs> Are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Cum nips. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to that here in a moment. Um, first, uh, somebody made a video game of mystic rick wrestling oh. bert right great it's pretty cool yeah they took uh the wwe wrestling Look. game um i look a little different <laughs> <laughs> what's going on the here look at this <gasps> is scheduled for one fall making his way wow. to the ring Whoa, cheap shot. Damn. Bert hit me from behind. That's not cool. What the hell? Oh, and then he's throwing me into the and ring. Bert looks way more muscular here. Uh, yeah. Is. Let's be honest, okay? That's okay. a little over the top. Oh, my. Oh, he kicked me. Oh, clothesline. Oh, my gosh. Jumping off. Oh, I did a flip. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. awesome. This is great. Very exciting stuff. I really Jeez. like it. And it says Christine on the side there. <laughs> yes, it does. Wow. What a drop. Oh, Mystic Rick. Yep, and I have my... Where's your turkey slicer? I have my Got, got Cum bandana <laughs> on. <laughs> it's really cool. I love that they kept That's that so going. so rad. Those guys have, uh, have really enjoyed <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the Got Cum guys. They were like, thanks for the know. plug. They've been very thankful. They have been. Very nice. And I hope you're come stuff sells well you know what's great is that they even got when you wore the zorro eye covers oh yeah under the the shades yeah (laughs) 
That's pretty cool that you can just build you build these characters like that in the game. Yeah. They, they let you do a lot. Yeah, the the WWE wrestling game. That's great, man. Wow. That's great. Um very good. I'm supposed to do a phone call with a wrestling organization. No. Uh, uh, uh what kind of a call? <laughs> uh talk about options, man. Okay, shit. I'll fill you guys in later. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's happening? Could be. I could be. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see where it goes. It's exciting. It's pretty wild. There's it another, is. yeah, there's a couple of things happening in the wrestling oh world. Oh, dear. All right. Well, we'll, I'm excited. Yeah. Park it for now. Um, How's that McLaren, by the way? Okay. You enjoying that? God damn it. You know, the neat part is that it only cost, how much did that one cost us? Which one? The one that I really liked? Yeah. It's not bad. It was 400. Yeah. That was 400 great. grand. Yeah. And you get a cool car. <laughs> it's a it's such a great car i know it's beautiful beautiful but i mean it handles it drives unbelievable crazy power yeah i got so great i got i woke up with an erection thinking about it i know you yeah. do i know yeah i know i'm glad that these cars bring you joy it, it is nice in the in these times that you have something like i know and i've been going on drives more yeah like um matt <laughs> showed yeah. me a, definitely a couple really fun roads to drive that i'd never driven before it really changes like it became like a stress relief i've been lifting weights and driving yeah and may i say it shows yeah your your weight lifting's very handsome you mm. look great thank you you're very handsome four days a week every day of the week yeah you look fantastic yep. yeah and that's why i was like you know you've got this new bod you're not really mentioning my tits a lot these days oh it got it, you worried it, yeah, a little concern yeah well you still got huge tits and that ain't no shit thanks james just like your dad yeah this episode of your mom's house is also brought to you by tushy every every one of us has an ass and every one of us pushes that hot chocolate out of there usually two to three to six times a day (laughs) and listen your ass needs to be clean so your partner can lap it up and there's only one way to have it really pressure washed clean so that your partner can become a scrum master you need to treat your butt right with tushy Break up with your toilet paper and start hosing off your a-hole. Tushy is in high demand right now. You can order today. Don't wipe and you mush all that smeary mud all over your, your whistler, your hairy whistler. You need to clean it up. I clean mine with my Tushy. It helps, man. Hemorrhoids, yeast infections, UTIs, itchy assholes, skid marks, they all go away when you have a Tushy power washing those turds off. So right now, Right now, it's only $79. Go to hellotushy.com slash your mom. Get 10% off your order. Once again, hellotushy.com slash your mom. We all need a break now and then. I mean, come on, especially these days. But why not keep your brain active while you relax? That's why I love the fun puzzle game, Best Fiends. It's an oasis of fun you can take with you everywhere i've been playing it for quite a while now um and i like it because it's just the right amount of challenging so you're not like you're not exhausted by a game you know when you go to play something and you're like this is too much i can't do it the characters are adorable i like the little sounds they make and i like the feeling that you get rewarded a lot because they give you lots of rewards uh with best fiends so you feel like you're doing stuff you know (laughs) It's a unique and exciting puzzle experience unlike other puzzle games out there. That is the truth. And they update the stuff constantly. It doesn't require the internet to play, which is the best part. So you can play offline anywhere, anytime. Best Fiends has thousands of levels already with new levels, events, and characters added every month. It's hours of fun right at your fingertips and you can even play offline. With over 100 million downloads and tons of five-star reviews, Best Fiends is a must-play. Download Best Fiends free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Is that what you noticed about me? What did you like about me the first time we met? Hmm... I think I picture you sitting there at the cat club. I mean, the first thing I thought was like she fox. You had like Oh stop. No, you did. You had boots on, fishnets. Come on. What do yeah, you but think? You think you, I thought you were yeah. a fucking good girl? Well, you make it sound like I was wearing like street walker. Like a prostitute, yeah. No, I had cool camper boots. They were under the knee, fishnets, but then like a skirt yeah, yeah, that I was know. right above the so knee. So do prostitutes. That's oh what my I was God. saying. It you was looked a, like a cool prostitute. And I was like, talk to her. <laughs> 
see what's up. You were smoking. I was like, she definitely fucks. Yeah, you like that bad girl. Yeah, per- persona. You need to get covered. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> there, there you are. Right there. there. I, I see you. Yeah, yeah. There I. That was my look. Yeah. Is that is that leg open? Yeah, it's showing. Puss, puss. Oh, it is showing her stuff. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna blur that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can I see it since it's already up? <laughs> yeah, that's what I saw. You saw the vagine. That's how I was sitting. That's at the how cat you were club. sitting in front of the <laughs> cat club, just like that. And I was like, "Oh, she's cool." That's funny. You really did like my bad attitude. Yeah, man. Yeah, I thought you, you were did. a suicide girl. You know, I thought you were gonna pull this down and be covered in tats. And I was like, "What's up?" <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, should we break and then come back and finish the rest? Sure. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. That was a great lunch. We were fuck partners. We had a good time. Stop. Whole crew had a nice break. Uh, that was fun. Um, I love having lunch with this crew. It's my favorite part of the day. It, it is a good time. Suwu. We had a great time. So, <laughs> uh, as we mentioned a few weeks ago, we were very excited that Sattva offered us the opportunity to do a giveaway. So, oh, yeah. we asked for your submissions. You came in hot. With a lot of submissions. We actually had to filter through them, um, kind of pare it down quite a bit. We also uh, probably should have been more clear in the uh, submissions that it, well, the triple X rated ones. <laughs> we can't really play. Um, I realize that's our fault for being, you're like, what? That's totally on brand with the show. <laughs> that's true. But uh, I don't know that the, uh, the brand, the sponsor is dying to see that. So, really? Yeah. It's just a guess. They didn't tell me. <laughs> But um, it's just a guess. You don't think a nice corporation wants to have people just Well, the guys here were telling me about some of the submissions, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, here are some of the submissions for a sattva, a free sattva mattress. Um, let's see I what we got wait. here. Here's the first one from Aubrey. Here we go. Hey there. My name's Aubrey. I am a phlebotomist at a hospital. And uh, I'm doing my best as a frontline worker and as a mom of a six-year-old to get sleep at night, but um, I'm not. (laughs) A week ago, I actually applied to get a discount on a mattress uh, for being a frontline worker, and I was told no because I wasn't a nurse. Um, So to have a new mattress would be awesome, Um, but I also just want to thank you guys out there for... Uh, making these podcasts to help me get through my mornings on my way home, not crashing into a wall. Damn so, it. thank you. Bye. How God do we even look it. at another submission, you son of a bitch? We picked the good ones. I mean, why didn't you put that last? <laughs> you should see the next. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the next shit. It's going to be a very hard all right. decision. All right. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, so, Aubrey, first of all, thank you for doing what you do. We very much appreciate you. Um, Frontline work. Oh, man. It's going to yeah, be tough. Yeah, mother. To, all right. Jeez Who's Louise. up next? This is Ben? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Benny? Benny. Hey, Jeans. Hey, Mommies. Uh, longtime listener and longtime Cool Guys Club member. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, I was just listening to the podcast a minute ago when you announced the Sakpa contest. What's he wearing? And it's weirdly coincidental for me that this morning... I discovered I had a bed bug infestation. Oh, fudge. So here's my infested bed frame and my crappy 10-year-old mattress. I've just been trying to vacuum into all the nooks and crannies and put down diatomaceous earth. Uh, that's why I got my respirator here. Put all my clothing in bags, yada, yada. So if I were to win the soccer contest, it would be an absolute blessing in the skies. Mm. Um, so I'll keep the video short and follow Proto. Peace and love. Keep feathering it, brother. You guys rock my world. Thank you for your podcast. It sparks a lot of joy. Oh, Ben. That was, a very, that was a very nice one. Benny. And he's definitely in need, which is it's nice to see. Um, I bed mean, it's bugs. not nice to see that he's in need, but you know what I mean. How right. horrible are bed bugs? Have you ever had Terrible. experience with them? I've thought that I... I mean, I've stayed in some real shit hotels. Me so, too. Yeah, I've had, I've had something on me. Either that or some guy came in the middle of the night and <laughs> nibbled on my legs. Somebody with some questionable dental work. Oh. You know what I mean? Bite yeah. some cigarettes and shit. <laughs> All right. Connell. Up next, Bobby. Let's see what he has. Hey, Tom, Christina. Super huge mega fan. Have watched every single podcast episode on YouTube. Um, listen, why I should win this. 
my family and I lost everything we owned in the wildfires here in Northern California. I mean, everything got burnt down. I lost everything. Um, I got a real bad back. I've been battling cancer. I could go on and on, but the clip's got to be short right now. All I have to sleep on is this futon, mm. and it's destroying my back. I have nothing, and um, I could really use this. I mean, a miracle, please. All right, oh, Jesus, man. God. You're really doing the heartstring submissions this Bobby. time, huh? All right, here is Brian's submission. What's going on? It's Brian from Cornwall. I just wanted to uh, do a video instead of a text or a call <laughs> uh, about the bed. Just in my living room here, and uh, I don't know, I've been here since about uh, 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, so I got my iced water here and my laptop, so I'm very busy. My laptop's actually charging, so uh, I can't really do any work right now. I just have to enjoy the view of the street. And uh, yeah, so uh, I have to take care of my baby, um, and she keeps me up most of the night. Uh, so the least you guys could do is uh, humor me with a free bed. Um, yeah, shoot me a text. I don't know if I did I say my name at the beginning. It's Brian. That's pretty good, man. <laughs> That's a funny one. You did a very good take on Charles. Yes. The Charles. What's uh, going on? What's going on? It's Charles. It's Charles. I'll see you. Around. I'm thinking. What's going it? on? It's Charles. Yeah. I'm oh, <laughs> say around eight o'clock, eight fifteen. All right, that was really good. Oh, Charles. Good job, Brian. Brian did the mm, Charles, Charles take. All right. I'm thinking lilies. Yeah, who doesn't want a free mattress, man? Here's Brianna. Todd and Christine, I <laughs> hope you pick me to win the Sattva mattress because I've unfortunately outgrown mine. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> Brilliant work. I really like this one. I, I really like it. I do too. And you know what? She has a pug mask. You know, know how specific that is to get an adult pug mask? But I like that it got weird. Yeah. You know? She knows She knows how to tug on our heartstrings, that yeah. one. That was great. That was really good. Here <laughs> is <laughs> Katie. I'm here in Yukon, Oklahoma. The only hospital is on Garth Brooks Boulevard. <laughs> and I have fallen for that shit. <laughs> so I had to give birth to my whole white baby. <laughs> On my mattress. Oh. I really need a new one, but I can't be roaming East Street shopping for one. He likes that. <laughs> wow. Well, that was really amazing. God. That was amazing. That's what funny. the Garth take. That was that really was good. Really good. Katie She's, and Brianna so far. That's funniest. really funny. Hi, Christina and Tom. This is Chris. I'm moving from Seattle, Washington to Los Angeles, California quit my salary job during the global pandemic and took a commission only job. Um, you both <laughs> have spoken to working really hard in your life to get to where you are today. And that's what I'll be doing. But unfortunately with my car completely full of my items, Jeez. there's no mattress on top. Yep. And I don't have a bed, I have a sleeping pad. So that sort of a mattress would do me very well. Your YouTube has kept me smiling through some tough times in my life this last year. Uh, whoever gets this mattress will deserve it. Appreciate everything you guys do. I'll be keeping it high and tight and following Proto and uh, feathering it in L.A. <laughs> just for you guys. Uh, have a great one. That's good. Oh. Congrats on your move. Yes, and good luck. Good luck Welcome to my man. Welcome to L.A. Here is uh, Colin. <laughs> LA. Hey, Tom and Christina. Uh, sorry for the mess, but I'm in the middle of work right now. So this is why I think I deserve a Sotva mattress. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Sorry about that. Uh, about to have some stains on my old mattress, as you can see. But I love you. I cherish you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hmm. All right. Bye now. God. That one seemed geared towards you. Yeah. Uh, hmm. That was pretty cool. Um, you got to wonder what that's like, don't you? Nope. What part? Of Being a guy like that? Like a real guy like that? <sighs> that murders people on his mattress? All right. Don't take it so far. Can we see we the next met, one? Have somebody tied up. All right, next one is from Jake. Oh, come on, mommy's watching, mommy's watching. <laughs> Hi, Hitler, I'm Jake Doolittle. I'm 19 years old. I've been watching the show since I was 16. I've been dealing with Lyme disease since I was three. During the treatment process, I lost the ability to hold in my urine for about three years. So my piss spot 
was my mattress. After COVID, I'm getting a double meniscus transplant. I also saw that Sapa has an adjustable base, so maybe with that, I wouldn't look like such a talk when I'm getting out of bed. I interned as a photographer at SNL. I've taken photos of Christina's favorite, Billie Eilish, and I work with some of the biggest TikTokers in the world. I put all this shit on my LinkedIn ding, and I don't have <laughs> much funds. If you guys sent me a, 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 a mattress, I'd like that. <laughs> wow. Very good. Great video. Great job. Jake. It's really funny. Rachel. Hi, mommies. My name's Rachel, and this is my submission for the Sapa mattress giveaway. Um, this mattress, the mattress I sleep on every single night, I cannot put into words how crusty and gross and uncomfortable it is. Ugh. I've had it since the eighth grade. It is so old and gross and uncomfortable, and my essential employee paychecks are not cutting it. I cannot afford a new mattress. Um, and one more thing, I am always feathering it. <laughs> that should be reason enough. Thank you so much. Bye. Aww. That's very sweet. Rachel, young lady. Not a lot of funds when you're that age. I know. Shant here? Mommies, Shant here. Shant. Great meeting you guys the other day. As you can see, I have no crown molding, <laughs> no fans. I did all of this by myself. <laughs> And why do I think I deserve a Satma mattress? Well, for the past seven months, me and my girlfriend have been living on an air mattress. Oh. And just about a month ago, we got a hole in it. And oh. no amount of Gorilla Glue, sealant, or duct tape is going to cover that up. So now we've just been living on a mattress topper. As you can see. Oh, no. Jesus. Okay. No good. And as you can see. We have the air mattress pump just waiting for us in case we have to buy another air mattress. Shant with the air mattress. Am I right? Man, you're making this, this difficult. I feel like it was I easier know. last time. Well, you know, just got to produce a good contest, right, guys? That's right. We're almost done. Here hey, mommies. Steven Steve. and Willow from Boulder, Colorado. Um, thanks for this opportunity. Um, I was in the hospital uh, a couple God months ago. For my back and my physical therapist recommends that i get a firmer mattress but i'm on furlough right now from the restaurant industry so we we really appreciate this opportunity and chance thank you so much and we're keeping them high and we're keeping them tight oh god damn it put the willow in there cute <sighs> breaking one. my heart last one is that is that hey mommy uh, my name is zach uh, and i'm gonna give you my sob story so at the beginning of the year, I made a pretty big move up from San Antonio to West Virginia and um, did it by myself, of course, because I'm a big boy now, but I had to leave everything behind as well. So uh, we got hit with these corona times and essentially I've been sleeping on a, a pile of towels on the floor uh, since I haven't been able to buy a mattress. So, uh, you know, it's embarrassing. I can't date. I can't bring a girl home to a towel on the floor no so help me out this on me beat me i'm on here now <laughs> okay no. all right oh gosh this is quite a list man yeah um thank you guys for submitting i know that there were dozens and dozens more submitted that we couldn't get to all of them but thank you very much um all right so now we gotta pick a winner uh i guess we're gonna vote okay so looking at this list and looking at all the marks they were all good they were either heartbreaking or hilarious um which yeah that's the way to go i think it's hard for me to to choose anyone other than my our first aubrey the uh the pandemic nurse no she's a phlebotomist sorry she's not a pandemic nurse. she said that because she's not a nurse she can't get assistance just just to be clear oh okay in her video she's a phlebotomist not that does that even, matter i don't know what that is it's a blood person they look at blood oh so it's a, actually a fucking dangerous kind of job okay she looks at people's blood well i'm glad you uh sorry I know, is that being annoying i just no 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 wanna, I, 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 she says i'm not a nurse that's why i can't afford okay i can't get certain privileges or whatever got you does that change your answer tom yep i don't like her anymore i'm a nurse advocate <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> um no i thought she was very sweet and uh she is on, on the front lines i think it's uh commendable and uh that's my vote that's who i'm choosing that's Gene? a good one. I think that's a good one. I agree with you. I think Aubrey is the good one. Yeah. But I want to choose. Can I choose someone too? Sure. That's what we're doing. We're voting. Okay. All right. Just checking. Now, I had a hard time because I'm what I'm looking at is, yeah, these videos are funny. I like all these people. I want everyone. 
I wish I could give a mattress to everyone, but I'm going to look at who's got the hardest way. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like Bobby is like, that guy's got it hard. You know what I'm saying? He's got cancer, fires, destroyed his stuff. And I also like Jake, the 19 year old kid with Lyme disease. I mean, how the fuck do I choose between those two? It's like, but here's the deal, man. Jake is 19. He's young. He's got chutzpah. He can, he's going to scrape together money eventually to buy himself a mattress. Bobby, not so sure he can do it. All right. So so Tom is arguing that Aubrey should get it. Yeah. And then, Christina, you're arguing that either Bobby or Jake should get it. I'm going to go with Bobby because I think he's really, really in a hard way. And I don't think he can ever so that's your get vote? It on his own. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say Bobby. All right. See, I'm 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 really I, I like people that that kind of circumvent the the way to please our sponsors where you know a lot of these submissions is like damn we could barely get any show references in here mm -hmm. uh, and right. still have it be like cool for the sponsors to be like part of the you, contest you're looking at it as a producer essentially right and so what i like yes are people that are able to get show references and on the surface it just seems weird but you know deep down it's like oh okay this person gets it and with that, I think I think I'm like, I want to say Brianna gets it because I really think that the the pup, pup play the that pup was hilarious play has always been one of my favorite lanes. It's here. a great lane, and she did such a good job. It was yeah, so funny, and it just seems like, oh yeah, I'm just a responsible pet owner, just trying to hang out with my dog d during this uh, during silly. this pandemic, you know. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I know all these other people are sick and tired, and they deserve beds, but my vote's for Brianna. Wow. wow. Bold. Now it comes to there's the final three. It's like, what are we going to do, right? Choose a winner. I say we give all three mattresses. Oh, That's whoa. Right. All three. Three mattresses. Three mattresses of your choosing. You pick whichever one you want from the side of the lineup. Oh. And uh, they will send it to you. And then everybody else that we played in this segment, they're gonna get bedding from Sattva. So What? They're gonna get the pillows and the sheets. sheets yeah. Fantastic. So everybody gets something, but those three will get mattresses. Holy shit. And the rest get the luxury, awesome luxury, bedding. Luxury, awesome bedding. Which we sleep on the Sattva bedding every night and it's fantastic. We do. It really is phenomenal. Yes. Wow. I love it. Okay, yep. so I guess uh, we'll reach out through the, the yes. podcast email and we'll we'll notify them that they notify want. Notify we'll the winners and then wow. connect them to the Sapa people and we're good to go. Awesome. So thank, thank you to everybody you. for submitting and thank you to Sattva for making it happen. Very, Yay. very exciting. All right. Let's, uh, let's go here. Is this toddler going to, is it bad? It's not terrible. Hmm. I think I'm gonna skip over that one. Yeah, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it like it's not fucked up to play right now? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Delilah, let's go to the park. He's not allowed to. Why can't we go? Fucking. Fucking Chinese. Oh my god! Somebody oh my taught god. that kid to, how to talk about to blame the Chinese for the virus. This is hilarious. This is basically what I do to my mother uh, <laughs> when I talk to her. I I give her the whole pitch. I'll be like the fucking wet markets, and they're eating bats, and she's like, "What?" And I go, "That's why, because they're eating snakes and bats." Well, <laughs> I tried to get her to to do that on the Spanish podcast. I gave her a whole thing. I was like, "The fucking Chinese." They did this, and then she wouldn't take the bait. So I was like, "How about the gypsies?" I tried to get her to go on. The <laughs> I tried to walk her into those. She wouldn't. She wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. It's that's nice though to have a child do it. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> people are like, "Why? Why are people racist?" Like, yeah, well, yeah. that's exactly how you do it. You got to start young. You got to start. You have to teach them the stuff. <laughs> you got to teach them, and then they can learn. What is the end world? So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you have to teach them well, when they're toddlers. Well, let me teach you. Yeah. Fucking Chinese. How do you... How could do you, you imagine teaching our three-year-old that? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Very yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The fucking Chinese. 
you know, while all this is going on in our nation right now, I think it's important to remind you. Any, you really need to take a shit. I know you're black and you guys do your own thing, but you still have to shit. That's right. That's right. Charo, bringing our nation together. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do your own thing. <laughs> you do your own thing. Shitting yeah. is his own thing. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he does. Yep. You know how it is. Um, ooh, my soundboard just crashed after that. You think it's a message? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of feels like it. That just totally crashed. Oh, wow. Yeah. You think God punished you for that one? I think he did, actually. Yeah. The fucking Chinese. The fucking Chinese. Big words. All right. Uh, what's this? Uh, oh, yeah. This guy, I'm, I'm kind of... Um, what is this here? <laughs> I'm a faggot. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know that was, that was, on, that was on my truck. I don't know. What? I don't know. I just saw a thing here. Sorry. We'll just change Wait a minute. It. What was it labeled? It says Bert. That's all it says. It just says Bert? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm having chest pain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that Bert too? Oh, <laughs> uh, when I see a button with Bert. I turn it to a telescope. I always get excited. <laughs> How is Bert's weight during this pandemic? He's doing? been doing well. Yeah? He He's looks good. Dieting? He's been running a ton, man. Good. He's on his treadmill like every day. Good. Yeah. And he's drinking less boxes of wine. He's doing good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <sighs> this is one I haven't seen. Let's check this out here. Cool guy. You really have to be suspicious of the people who make fun of you over the internet. Because they never show their true face. That's right here. And if you ever meet anybody that makes fun of you off the internet, you could usually see like a red flag, like they just look like they do drugs. Right here. Yeah. This is the sure. guy. <laughs> okay. You're looking at him. <laughs> Isn't this guy, he looks like a previous cool guy. God. Well. Oh, shit. I he looks like I, I want. Right. I want right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right <gasps> now. That's what he looks like. Is that like. him? It looks like him. It looks like he gained weight, and that looks like him. Could be. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I can you dive no, yeah, into that kind of? Can you go into Cool Guy Classics right now and find <laughs> that guy? <laughs> right now. You know right now. If you go in there, I think you have it on your on your laptop. I do. Mm -hmm. Just I'd say just search for right now, right now, and it'll probably come up. Okay. Tell me if this is him. Well, he's shirtless in this one. I don't recall him being shirtless before. And it looks like he's been using tick cups because his breasts are larger than they were before, too. Um, okay. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Damn. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. Is this him? Tom. Wow, Tom. Tom. Great fucking eye, dude. Wow. You nailed it. Dude. That's him, right? Yeah. Dude. How did you fucking... How? Wait a minute. That he's memory... completely different. It's his like hair that, is like that different. mouth. He's got a cool guy Eyes. vault, Tom. His doesn't he doesn't look as good. Uh, he was shirtless in the original. How could I? Oh, that's right. That? He's in Spokane. That's oh, right. Fuck. I remember that too. Yeah. His hair is longer, a little darker. It doesn't for, look as healthy. For people that don't know, can you give him a little taste here? <laughs> See where this goes. If you can. I want an adult hottie in my lap right now, under 26 right now, no frills, no excuse, big titties and intelligence, I don't care if she's a hood, rap, punk rock, or any kind of anything, as long as she's hot in here right now, on my 37 year old dick right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Hmm. Yeah, that's the right that's now guy. him? Uh, hey, let's play the I don't the know, guy? I don't right know if it's him. So pumped right there, he's so fired up. Oh. Or they just look like they don't shower, or they just look like they're fucking assholes. Or they look like they're bigots. Like they'll call you a creep or something when they might as well just go into an area and call a black dude the N-word. What? 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 What are you talking about? Ugh, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Because um, <laughs> that guy was really pumped when he was talking. Well, this is like a manic state over here. Yeah. And this could be... Wait, yeah? which, in which video is he in a manic state? Uh, uh, right now, right now, right now. And this, and he's he's normal. He's normal in the long-haired version. Well, <sighs> for him, yeah. He's chiller. Yeah, for not sure. Mad. I mean, that guy's like he's like, oh, twenty-seven years old, on my dick right now, right now, right now, right well, now. Well, I mean, I think he was performing. You know, he was reading a poem that he wrote. <laughs> yeah, know? like I think he's like he's doing spoken word. Could be, could be. 
Um, it is. Is it the same guy? I think it is. I yeah. mean, it makes sense because the shortlist, the presentation. I don't Things know. Things have just changed. Yeah, he's a little it's, older. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, it keeps yeah. here. These yeah. are obvious retards. <laughs> I know uh, retard is an ableist term, but I mean, people that have mental disabilities, like Down syndrome, I don't consider to be retards. Okay. People I consider to be retards are people <laughs> that support Trump, people who support corporate Democrats, and people who talk to women like they're on Jersey Shore. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, jeans. Okay. So he had a, Here, total, a total change in his approach to things. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't even respect people that talk to women like they're on Jersey Shore, let alone ranting and raving how you need them bouncing on your dick right now, right now, right now, right now. Look, mm -hmm. to be fair, though, this hint, the past him, that was him high on meth. Sure. And he doesn't do meth anymore. You can tell because he's gained the weight and he's sublimating that need for meth and he's eating chicken nuggets dude he's yeah fine. he's better now yeah you, take mercy these are obvious retards <laughs> okay that's oh. true yep that's true. they just look like they do drugs i can't believe you fucking remember that guy's face i mean it just really seemed like it to me i can't know? that's an amazing memory jeans for all the psycho cool guys we've seen over the years yeah that was impressive. Yeah. I am impressed. You had the cool guy, the cool guy radar there. Yeah. It, 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 it's Fuck. strong. In my head, all I hear all day. <laughs> I know when I see it. I know when I see it. I know when I hear it. <laughs> la, 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 yep. la. The cool guy club. <laughs> yep. You just have it in your heart. Man. Yeah. And I, I do, I like the way, this. I like the way that he just broke that down for us too. That was also really, <laughs> really nice. You think he learned a lesson when he came down from meth? Yeah. He was like, that wasn't nice. Was you would be required to, to make daddy come. I don't like that guy <laughs> yeah. either. Yeah. Having their pussies like. Okie doke. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I'll make you come. Yuck. I, know, I see their images every time I hear their voice. I'm like, mm-hmm. I can ID that guy. Just let me eat you. Don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> don't I don't like understand why every woman's a fucking stupid idiot. I can't. I like him. I like him. Wow. You know so what? This is the type of guy you get. I love him. Yeah. yeah, he's the best. I don't like the one where he goes, come now. The magician, the oh, come yeah, magician. The come now is I don't this. like that guy. Yeah. I'm a smitty. Yeah. That guy. Is I like his name, to be honest. Hitler. What was that one? That was different. The girl. I like Come for me. That one. That I don't like that guy. Come now, heart. Nope. <laughs> Squirt. 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 Stupid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Squirt. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, man. So creepy. Woo! Tommy, Tommy Johns. Tommy there, Johns. And he's, and he's alter ego. I don't know, but he he, he went down the wrong path, yeah. as you saw in that last episode. Yeah, we cover it on Dr. Drew After Dark, just What'd so he say? you know. What'd he say? What did he say? That Johnny Johns, it looks like he's going through bipolar, that oh. this is the downside of a manic episode, and psychosis. Oh, cool. And a psychotic stuff going on, yeah. Yep. Seems like a fun ride. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Woo! Yeah, Woo's right. Um, okay, I think come, we should roll. Come for me now. Tom, do the noise. Okay. <laughs> come for me now. <laughs> come now hard. Yeah. Come now hard. Come now hard. Ugh. That is so... You know what that's as bad as? What? Mm, the hug. The mmm. Mmm. Come for... Do, do it. Come for me now. Come for me now. Oh, get off! <laughs> <laughs> come now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come now. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. I am so signing up for I fucking know. RPCs OnlyFans. And I'm so excited to look at your feed. Yeah, it's because gonna be great. Can we click on it just to see what it what it no, you're not allowed to. Yeah. I have prepped what we can see. Got you. Got you. Right. <laughs> I mean, the rest of it, you know, it's like we're trying to promote it. If we're showing everything. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. You we're don't just want... teasing it. So we his, to make money. his peener is out like all the time on OnlyFans. Yeah. It is so wild <laughs> that the world is where it is today where <laughs> right this guy will now be able to get paid 
to do this. I know. He's been doing that. This is a life he's been living. <laughs> You've been getting There's this no for one the entire time. There's no one realer yeah. than RPC in these streets <laughs> living a life that, I mean, seriously, he's been, this is no <laughs> different than what he's been doing. He's like, oh, I can get paid to do this? <laughs> this is amazing. I, you know, it just goes to show, it's, it just took time and technology to get around to what he was doing. Yeah. Much like us in our career, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. wouldn't it be great if we could just sit around and talk about farts all day? Yeah. And then podcasting came along. Right. And it was like peanut butter and chocolate, yeah. fudge and caramel together. Yeah, it was perfect. Perfect. Shit, piss, everything, the gration, water, get water sports, all. Anything goes, piss and drugs, man, smacking me around, good. Um, Chrissy, go ahead and find me so we can make this motherfucking shit happen, motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. More, uh, more, more, oh more. Oh, my God. Come on, I got the fever for I'm it. I'm naked, man. You want, to, you want to take me to the hall later on? Do the hall. You want to do you the wanna, hall? Yeah, do the hall, too. You want to do it here, man? Yeah. Man, you want man? Come on, motherfucker. Man, run yeah. rape this fucking home, man. I'm a fucking, home, fucking guy the cocksucker, dick sucker. Like a black dick, baby. <laughs> but come on, baby. Let's fuck. Give me a call. Give me yeah, a call. Give me a call. You know what I love about him is that he's got the freedom with his naked body the way that our children do. Mm-hmm. You know, our, our sons run around naked, baby. And they're yeah. so unashamed. They and have they no just, shame. They None. love their they bodies. They're unaware. They don't yes. have any like self-awareness. No. And he has a similar love it's of a his beautiful body. Thing. Yes, a joie de vivre, if you will. I love it. And he's very inclusive. He's always talking about black <laughs> and Latino men. I think it's important during this time. The nation's going through a lot, and you have a guy like Robert Paul Champagne saying, we can all come together. That's true, Tom. Inside me. <laughs> <laughs> and the police? Are you kidding me? <laughs> So intense. So intense. Oh baby. Oh man. Oh no! Not the lick, not the lick of a hand. Yeah, you wanna fuck, huh? So much sweat and oil. I like though. See, this is what I was trying to say before. You have to include the police in the conversation. You have to be willing to communicate with them, and that's what he's doing here. He's trying to show you. That's right, Tom. He's building a bridge between he's building two communities. A bridge. He's saying, "We we need you to participate uh, in the dialogue wait, as well." Tom, you know what I'm amazed by mm. is how he can ejaculate standing up so easily. <laughs> it, I... it can be done. <laughs> <laughs> but I just do, I didn't think it was preferable, right? I mean, it's not really how you want to. I, I imagine men, do you guys sit down when you ejaculate? No, I mean, you're you a stander. Be, you but do you masturbate be. standing? You can, yeah. This yeah. one does. I, I mean, just to see if I could do it, but sure. like, I, I don't prefer it. I mean, right. it's not every and, time. I mean, but you just jerk off in the shower. Usually, you know. Oh right, you yeah. Never, you ever done that? Do you ever? pee in the shower? Yeah, I pee in the shower. Thank God. Okay. You and he shook his head. <laughs> did we already do this? You don't pee in the shower ever? No. Yeah, we we did this. I don't I don't pee in the shower and I don't pee in pools. You guys are monsters. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah. What about Zolo? <laughs> Zolo's a decent boy. Do you pee? A, you pee in the shower? I'll pee in the shower, but I definitely don't pee in pools. No. Why? Uh, what do you? Uh, maybe. Not even in like a yeah, public pool. Mormon? What no, you? I don't want to swim in it. Hmm. Huh. But that's what the chlorine is for. Will you pee in the ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But pee in the shower, do you like do you aim for the drain or do you just let it go anywhere? I aim for the drain. You do? Yeah. Do you ejaculate standing up? I have. I don't prefer it. You don't prefer it. You prefer to lay down, I'm assuming? Yeah, or sit. Or sit. Yeah. Right. I mean don't most men I assume prefer. Sit. Where do you sit? Like on a stool. But Annie's saying no, no, I like to stand and jizz. What? Why? Yeah. I, I, I don't know why. It's the challenge. It's the challenge. challenge. Okay. It's challenge. And yeah. he's into the suffering. Always with the suffering. Yeah. What is going on? Guy likes to test his limits. What are you going to do? <sighs> wow. Well, I know RPC's really into those nipple clips, too. Yeah. And he likes to use the oh, old man. school ones. I come. I want to come again. I want to come. I want to come. Ah! Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's such a performance. Yeah. It's really, really elaborate. I mean, and that's why OnlyFans <laughs> wants you. 
to jump on board. OnlyFans.com slash Robert Champagne. Get started today for how much? Yeah. Uh, I think you could get like a thirty dollar, like for thirty dollars. I think you could get a three month package. Oh. oh my god! The bigger the bundle, like the cheaper it gets for you. And I think he even has like a free week preview if you if you're not sure what? if you want to just dip your toes in. And, and let me tell you, RPC is a giver. This guy gives content. And by the way, he's been saying on his bio since he was we found him online, porno actor. Yeah, it says that it's always said that in his bio, like on his Instagram and stuff. It says like <laughs> artist, whatever, porno actor. So now he's getting to like live his dream, you know? It's really, yeah. really sweet. I, I like watching him blossom. He's really blossomed since we've been oh, he's following blossoming. him. Yeah. yeah. This is oh. nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, come on, baby. Don't keep it waiting, man. <laughs> don't keep me waiting, man. <laughs> I don't know why I love it. I like it. I like hearing him bagak. It makes me happy. Yeah, it's I, great. I think it, it doesn't turn me on, but it makes me happy. What are you talking about that doesn't turn you on? Why well, That's the hottest I fucking thing I've ever seen somebody do. What are you talking about? <laughs> God. Do you think it feels extra good for him? That's why he can come that loud. What do you mean? Like it must feel really good for him because he's really making a big to do about it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you're saying more oh, so than get other people? Off. Yeah, like he's just so excited. It's possible. I mean, we'd have to run some tests to see if it actually <laughs> is better for him than other people but it is it is really an elaborate show get off <laughs> yeah most people you know you don't was, you don't begock like that i mean me, not like that sure. yeah. not like that i don't hear you doing no. that kind of i mean of. that first one was just like the mother of all loads, let's, hear it, let's uh, hear it again let's hear it really i think it's funny okay give the world a laugh That's we all true. we all need to hear him come today <laughs> Dude, he he really is a porno actor. No, he's fantastic. I mean, to do that alone. That's alone. There's yeah. not another person there. <laughs> I know where you're going. And the male porn acting world doesn't have a lot of stars <laughs> he anymore. Said it sounds like he's watching his parents die. <laughs> <laughs> that first one, definitely. It's like it sounds like he's watching a horrific thing happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, ah, no, ah, no. Ah. But you bring up an excellent point. What's that? He would be really good. If anybody watching produces porn, I would say approach RPC. Mm, no? Maybe just let him keep doing the OnlyFans. Oh, I, I think he would be talented with that th okay. theatrical flair that he has. He's he a good certainly performer. Has that. He certainly has that. I, he's interesting. I like watching him. <sighs> I don't. Right. I can't say that for most uh, male porno actors. Yeah. This guy is really entertaining. He's entertaining. He's committed, and he's that's why you know he's on OnlyFans. Charisma. Yeah. He's got a lot. You know, there's different actor characters. Well, look, really. if you're out there, you want to work with him, you can definitely reach out. Uh, we're huge fans. Uh, congratulations, Robert, on your on joining your um, fans only, as you say. <laughs> 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 All right, we should run. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats. <laughs>